Now to the next question. Patricio87 says, Is it homosexual to make out with a male animal when you're a guy? Um, me and Steve-O developed a, a very strict code while filming Wild Boys. If it walks on four legs, it's not gay. So, <laughs> you know, you better watch, you know, making out is one thing. I mean, you better, you better tread lightly on this rule, though. Because bestiality is a whole other thing, you know. That one um, incident that happened in Jackass number two, when Johnny Knoxville and, and the man at the horse um, breeding facility, um, you know, ended up with that cup of semen, and I drank it. People have asked me, you know, do you feel like you committed bestiality? Well, I just drank the semen. I didn't get to come out of it. Holly says... Is it weird having? Is it weird to have your pets in your room while you're having sex? Um, having pets around when you're having sex, for some people, is kind of weird. I think if if the pet's like looking at them, you know, a lot of us have experienced that. Um, but it's long, you know, but you can get over that. You can fight through that, but um, as long as the pets don't get involved. You know, I've, you know, one time, God, I'm, I'm being so open here. I was having, I was having sex, and one of my dogs came up, and he tried to start licking my, my buttocks, and, and my scrotum from behind. He didn't actually lick my scrotum, but, you know, I, I, I felt his tongue and touched my buttocks, and, um, <laughs> yeah, I was kind of freaked out. So, yeah, it's kind of weird. <laughs> now, Holly has a question. Um, Holly says, at what point does a girl's sounds become annoying? Well, for sometimes, a girl's sounds be can become annoying after the man has ejaculated. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Duh. Another question from Katie. Do you consider doggy style degrading to the woman at all? Um, I remember talking about sex with some... It's an interesting question. It's not the dirtiest question we're going to be coming across, but I think I, I need to address it. I was talking to um, uh, some hippie girls years ago when I went skateboarding in Santa Cruz. There was these, these kind of gnarly girls with hairy armpits, and, and I, I've got to assume big hairy bushes. Um, that, you know, where they were studying at the University of Santa Cruz, and, um, you know, I was telling them, we were talking about sex, and I was, you know, I said something about doggy style, and the girl was like, oh, it's so impersonal, and, and a degra you know, degrading a woman, this and that, you know, I think that's a bunch of bullshit. She's my language. But, um, I think doggy style is, is um, you know, that's how all the other animals do it. And, um, you know, for some people it feels the best. I think it looks cool. When I was a younger, younger fella, when I had, when I was, before I even had sex, I couldn't wait to do a doggy style. Katie asks again, why would a man cheat? Is he already getting, wait, why would a man cheat if he is already getting it from his girlfriend? Well, because cheating is fun. Just kidding, no. More anal sex questions? A lot of, a lot of people have questions about anal sex because... It is so, such a taboo subject. You know, Chris, does a man really like anal sex or is it just bragging rights to his mates? Michelle asked him. And, um, you know, every man's different, you know. I, th I think, um, you know, I, I, don't, I don't see too many guys complaining about, you know, God, uh, I, um, I, I put in door number two last night, you know, I'm so bummed. Oh, this is a good question. Holly asks, is it possible for a guy's penis to go too far into a girl? All right, good question. You know, a lot of, you know, there's a lot of questions about, like, big penis, small penis, medium penis, so on and so on. And to tell you, I, I looked this up, like, how deep is a vagina, actually, before, because the vagina goes in, you know, and then eventually it hits the uterus, which you know is a very small opening when a baby's born. It, you know, it, 
dilates and opens up very wide so the baby can slip out. And um, so, imagine, I'm going to draw a diagram real quick. Imagine this is the vagina, all right? Here's the uterus that opens. So I read a little bit about female anatomy and I learned the vagina can be, you know, it can be, you know, it's only gonna be a couple of inches deep, you know. It might be five or six inches deep, you know. So when a man's penis is longer than that or it's going deeper, what it's doing is the, the cervix is hard, you know, sometimes you'll be thrusting into a woman and you'll actually, you can strike again, you can feel her cervix. And that's called bottoming out. <laughs> and sometimes you're gonna do that, sometimes it actually hurts the woman. And um, what, when you see in a naughty movie or the experience, um, when I'm sure more often than you even know, when the penis is going to the, to the back end of the vagina, it's actually stretching the skin on, you know, either above or below um, the uterus, you know, it, it could be one or the other, but, or to, you know, it's, it's stretching, it's pushing it around there. You know, most of her feeling is in the, the first few inches of her vagina. You know, as long as you got enough to get there, that's where it's gonna give her most of the feeling, you know. You know, that's not to say like a really big penis doesn't look cool, but, but um, you know, past there, it's not so much the feeling, you're, you know, you're just pushing that skin back. So, you know, big mystery solved right there. Um, so there you go. You know, you, I mean, you can stretch that skin probably, you know, who knows how la it's, it's, the vagina is very elastic tissue, you know, because no matter how big your penis is, it's not going to be bigger than a baby.